Hey guys, it's Tony with Backwoods Biker Magazine and Wood Tramp Outdoors. Uh, for a long time now, people have been asking me uh, questions about how to make um, the perfect bushcraft tool, which I don't know if there is such a thing, but uh, what I thought I would do is start a small series, a three-part series, on the three most basic bushcraft tools that everyone should know how to make. So, hang tight, be right back. All right, guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, the first uh, tool that I'm going to talk about is a baton. And I know that seems like a really, really simplistic uh, tool that, you know, you can use. Just grab a, uh, a piece of uh, deadfall or whatever, cut it to size, and start hammering away. But really, uh, there's a little more science that goes into it than that because uh, you can you can end up causing your blade to fail. You can break your blade if you're not batoning correctly or have the right material uh, to baton with. And you got to question what you're batoning, you know, what kind of wood that you've got. And then uh, you need to understand the bones of the blade that you've got that you'll be using. Um, and you, you want to make sure that you've got something that is, is up to the task. Uh, and I'm not going to go all through the differences between 1075, 1095, D2, um, the boutique stainlesses. I mean, you've got to know your knife and understand if it is up to being beat on to go through a piece of wood, especially in the winter. Right now, uh, it's 5 degrees when I got up today, and we're probably running a heat wave of about 15 right now. So it's a little chilly. A lot of the deadfall uh, has got some moisture in it, you know. And uh, this is no exception. This is a little tough for me to, to saw, you know. So <clears throat> you got to be able to consider what you're using, you know, to do this with. So the first thing I would tell you is that you don't need a saw in order to have a baton. You can go through the front of a tree and break it off, uh, or you can just pick up a piece of deadfall and use it the size that you find if you have to. But if you can, you take a little saw with you. I usually take out. Take out a silky convoy. Uh, you know, it's a nice little blade, does a great job, and for 90% of what I do, that is fine. So that's the first thing you should have. Have a saw. It's not necessary, but it does help. All right. So now that you've got got your baton itself, uh, <clears throat> it should be about the length of your forearm, somewhere around there. You know, about to the palm. That's where I got mine because it gives you enough oomph to be able to extend your arm and deliver that inertia energy. When it, when it hits the top of your blade, it drives it down into that uh, piece of wood that you are going to be batoning. Uh, and you know, you got a lot of energy transfer that's, that's happening there. So when your blade, I'm gonna try to get this in a shot here. So I've got a couple of different pieces that, that I would like to split here. But this brings on an illustration here. You see how, how big my knife is, all right, compared to the body of this wood, okay? It's gonna make it a little bit difficult to bring it all the way through that like that. So I'll have to end up splitting this with an axe before I continue on. But this That's, that's pretty easy. Uh, you know, if I know that I'm going to be using this, you know, throughout a, uh, you know, a camp or a hunt, I'm going to keep it around the, the fire pit or whatever, what I will do is I'll chamfer off these edges and keep it from spitting a little bit, and then I'll knock these off also. Uh, but a baton is, is a, a great piece of, of, of kit to have. The knowledge that goes into it um, is very, very important so you don't ruin your blade. Uh, simple stuff. Cavemen have been using this for a long time. So, thanks for watching, and especially thanks for the for the question. Uh, we're going to move on to part two on how to build a mallet. So hang tight.